Welcome them to the basic instructional course, peer support for amputees and the hospital and community. Um, the session will run from now until 2.15 and uh, we'd like to welcome you and thank you for your interest in peer support. Um, we're going to have some presentations and then we'll have a panel where we'll have a discussion. So we'd love to hear about your thoughts and if you have questions and comments then that can come also at the end of each speaker so that it's not lost with a question that's in your head. Um, we have a roving mic um, for the panel at the end and if you could please use the mic if there's any questions but it's a discussion so it would be lovely to hear from you and uh, we are all experts in the room and <laughs> we, we, we all, our views are, are here. So um, my name is Sandra Sexton and I'll be chairing the session um, with uh, Dr. Neil zod um, The objectives of the session are to develop an understanding about peer support and really to learn about best practice in Germany, Norway and France and then to consider what peer support services are needed, what's available and also what's effective. Um, our work has been long um, in all of the different amputee associations and experts that are here today um, and that culminated in the International Confederation of Amputee Associations and Dr. Tonnevold being engaged in the development in the Standards Development Group of the World Health Organization Standards for Prosthetics and Orthotics in 2017. What we are doing now is that we are promoting and rolling out implementation of standard 53. And I'm going to quote the standard, peer support and counseling should be available to service users as appropriate. ICC2A believe that the principles of peer support are about respect and shared responsibility and agreement on what is helpful. And our definition before we move on to talking about peer support in terms of our International Confederation of Amputee Associations is that, and again I quote, peer support is a way of giving and receiving help based on the key principles of respect, shared responsibility, and agreement on what is helpful. 